Hello everyone, uh, just thought I'd do a quick walk around of this Volkswagen Combi. Um, we're just waiting for the customer to come and collect it. And I thought I'd give you a quick uh, tour around the van and show you the little bits we've added to it and the bespoke bit we've done to it. All right, so first of all, it's a 2018 uh, Volkswagen Combi. Um, it's the long wheelbase. And on the front end, we've fitted a uh, Sportline front splitter. We've done a full gloss lower grille and a full gloss black grille. Um, we've custom painted the parts in the uh, grille to match the colour of the van. And then we've added a chrome Volkswagen badge to accent the chrome sidebars and the chrome on the side of the wheels. We've also upgraded the headlights, which has got the daytime running lights and also the indicators uh, flick like the Audis. Um, so coming around the side of the van, we've got 19 inch um, alloys on here. The van has also been dropped by 40 mil. Um, this vehicle is going to be using uh, used for towing a caravan um, so we didn't want it quite as low as a van like that so that's got 20 inch wheels with coilovers on this has just got 40 uh, a 40 mil drop on it so we've also got chrome uh, sidebars on here the customer has also um, requested a reversing camera so we've done one just under here so it's nice and tucked out the way you can barely see it it's also integrated into the number plate light so the number plate lights are led he also asked for a tow bar so we've done one which uh, hides away under there and we've fitted a roof spoiler on here also we've fitted a um, electric tailgate to this um, this van so three tresses of the key and it opens like so. So in the back of the van, it's all fully carpeted. Um, we've also fitted a bulkhead on this van and these holes here are where you would pull the lever to drop the front seats. Um, didn't like them being exposed. So we've also put in, uh, we've custom made um, two Bossway cover plates in there and we've also added uh, excuse me we added a switch in here to keep the LED lights on for longer while loading so um, so that'd be handy for him so you can either close the boot on the key or you can press this button here and the boot has also got soft close so once it shuts it then pulls itself in so we carry on round the side of the van. Again, you've got all the sidebars here. If I open up the back of the van first, all the seats have been uh, retrimmed in leather with a blue honeycomb stitch. And also we've done the door cards and roof lining in the same. So it all ties in and the door card is also on the the inside of the sliding door as well. Um, the customer also requested a audio upgrade in here but we've tried to make it as factory as possible. So this is an upgraded head unit with um, sat nav, it's got the reversing cameras on there, um, everything all comes through that screen. There's a Pioneer amp underneath the dash and the door speakers have been upgraded to 8 inch speakers obviously along with the tweeters that are in the uh, a pillars there um oh yeah this van is the dsg as well um so it's got eight inch uh door speakers obviously all running through a pioneer amp which also runs uh two six by nine uh speakers under these seats so these have been black carpeted to match the van as well um but also these are in front so obviously we can um open the seats you know take the seats out and um, so they're just on a little quick release there and also there's no holes in the bulkhead that you can see from the back so it's a much tidier neater design on this van as well we've also put a sub and amplifier under the driver's seat again on a board 
that is wrapped in the same black carpet as the rest of the van. Um, this van had um, a dual um, passenger seat and we've changed it for a single. So that's what these uh, caps are in the floor. You can get a floor mat to cover that if you don't like them, but the customer on this van is going to be putting a fridge and cup holder system in here. Um, so yeah, so this did have um, twin seats and now it's got two single seats in here, both with um, armrests on both seats. Um, so let's just shut the door there. So let me go back around the uh, front of the van again. We've also, it, this van came from factory of rear parking sensors. We've fitted um, front parking sensors and upgraded the ECU inside the van. So the front parking sensors and rear parking sensors work exactly like they would as they are out the factory. And I'll just take you around the driver's side. So here, We've put the um, sub control for the one under the seat so you can increase the base. And also this is the uh, factory head unit here that we've installed. So like I say, it looks very, very Volkswagen like. Um, here, the USB would work on the original Volkswagen um, radio. This USB was thinner, so what we did, we 3D printed a, um, a cage in there to clip the USB into, and then it lines up with this. So that's actually for, obviously, this like aftermarket radio, but this makes it all look very factory and uh, sort of genuine Volkswagen. So you do get a lot of bang and audio out of the van, although it looks completely original as much as we can do so that's a very brief detail on what we've had to do with this van there was a lot of work cabling and extras that we've put into this van but i'm sure you'll agree it does look very smart and we hope the uh, customer will be happy with it in uh, sort of about half an hour's time when he turns up so uh, thanks for watching and uh, speak to you soon